not think that I would be filming this in my car, but I cannot find a quiet place to film this. So I have a very exciting announcement, which you guys probably already know from this video, but I launched my online shop for my granola business, Salty Co. I'm so beyond excited. I thought I would be able to launch it in January. There were so many technical issues, but that's okay. I finally did it yesterday. I clicked publish right before going to work, ran out the door, didn't really have time to post much about it. But anyway, today I thought I would show you all of my favorite flavors and just go through them a little bit. This is going to be a super short video, but I'm really excited to share the flavors and my favorite picks. Go check out my website. Shipping is available in the US right now. I have a lot of international followers, which I hope to really expand shipping eventually, but it's one step at a time. So a tiny backstory. I started this granola business with my mom mid-December of last year. We started selling at the farmer's market here in Berkeley and have been going every single Thursday, meeting people, seeing what they think and we've had a really great response so far so that's really encouraging so the next step is obviously the online website I'm so excited to share it with you guys because I've brought you along since the beginning I don't know when a lot of you started following me but I started posting on here when I was in au pair in Germany I feel like my life has just felt like such a big mess a little bit and it's finally fun to share something with you guys that I'm really proud and happy about so anyway thank you so much for being here number one and I'm just really excited to share this with you I'm gonna share my first three flavors that we had at the farmers market this is our best seller it's the raspberry coconut it has freeze-dried raspberries that we just crunch up so the flavor is all in there this one is really popular I think because of the tanginess and the bursts of flavor we use non GMO organic oats organic maple syrup organic butter in all of our products I really want to make sure that everything everything's not organic we're really trying to source everything organic but the bulk of the ingredients are organic so that's something I'm really proud of you know starting out second one is a classic almond vanilla this was the blend I made for my friend Holly in Hawaii I would eat this all the time before and after my surfs I'm actually about to make a granola bowl with this one it's so good it's my favorite almonds just give it that nutty flavor a little bit of extra protein so this one's really good for that then I go back and forth between this one being my favorite it's just a chocolate chip I devour this after my surfs like I was in Santa Barbara the other day surfing with my boyfriend we brought this on the road I think the bag was like to here we had to stop ourselves because we were so hungry after a surf though this hits it's so good this one I brought in a jar because we don't have any more bags right now. This is another really popular one. It's the orange citrus. We dehydrate the oranges ourselves. Um, it takes about 10 to 12 hours in the oven. They are like little chips. I love to snack on them. We can crush them over your granola, yogurt bowl or whatnot. This one is also one of my favorites. I think I'm getting a little bit citrus out. Like I love this one, but I think I've had a little bit too much of it. I'm gravitating to more almond and raspberry flavors right now so but this is super unique people at the farmer's market have said i've never had an orange citrus granola before and it's just like unique so tasty so good another favorite of mine that i feel like is more kid friendly is this strawberry one this one has half the sugar in it so if you're looking for something less sweet i would go for this one has the same main ingredients just with freeze-dried strawberries it's really good it's a good classic staple i feel like whenever i try this one i'm like mm, can't go wrong i don't know if people know what muesli is i didn't know what this was until i opened in germany but we have some muesli this is just raw ingredients so we roast everything crisp them up kind of bring the flavors out basically you can make overnight oats with this what i like to do if i'm in a rush is eat this over another cereal because if i'm having cheerios or i don't even know some other cereal that doesn't really keep you full i i pour some of this on it it will just keep me full for a lot longer so if you're looking for no sugar go for this one then our newest flavor is this why does this i did not tag these well what even happened that is like on the side of the bag um anyway this is our most recent flavor it's blueberry pecan i've been loving this one i think just because it's new blend this one's really good it's a little more buttery it has dried blueberries and roasted pecans in it this one also has less sugar if you're looking for a little bit less sweet anyway i think really any blend if you decide to get one hopefully you'll like but that's just my personal opinions about all of them so if you wanted to make an order 
you can make a more educated order <laughs> based on my taste i guess but anyway thank you so much for everyone who has already ordered i know um i met this girl corinne when i was living in hawaii she made an order thank you so much and hi anyway i just want to thank you so much for being here and along this journey i've never done anything like this and i'm just excited to see where it takes me i'm gonna go make a little yogurt bowl now show you my favorite fruit to put on a yogurt bowl it is so good if you have haven't tried it okay so all you need is a bowl of course I like to just use plain yogurt the granolas are sweetened just enough to be sweet enough with plain yogurt so if you use a sweeter yogurt yogurt it might be too sweet <laughs> um, so all you need is some yogurt this is some of our extras from the almond vanilla I have it in this glass jar but it looks like let me show you what it looks like. this is what it looks like if you order it online it's 12 ounces this bag is actually compostable, so after you're done, you can just toss it in the compost. Um, I'm just gonna take a couple scoops of this plain yogurt, just like that, and then pour some of this almond vanilla granola on. I used to make this all of the time in Hawaii when I surfed. I'm just gonna pour it on like half of it. Then I have some pineapple. I'm just gonna cut up some pieces even finer. It's really simple it's just three things the yogurt pineapple and granola you can put any blend of granola on i just like this one because it has some almonds and like a little more protein but it's so good mm. you want to try the band mm. mm -hmm. is that really good fruit to have on there mm -hmm. it's really good you should give it a try if you like pineapple and get my granola or any granola or whatever. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in, being a part of this community and watching my videos every week. I really appreciate it and I'm so excited to share with you guys this part of my journey. If you've watched all the way to the end, check the description for a little code you can use on my website for 10% off. And I hope you have a great week.